How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. I really appreciate you taking your time tuning in to my video. I wanted to get this information out to you guys earlier today, but I was on grandpa duty. The Fifth Circuit has issued a preliminary injunction blocking pistol brace ban enforcement against the plaintiffs. For those of you keeping score at home, back in May a three-judge panel of the Northern District of Texas issued an emergency injunction blocking the ATF from enforcing its new rule effectively banning pistol stabilizing braces. The court concluded that not only were the plaintiffs in Mock versus Garland likely to win the case on the merits, but the rule the ATF issued bore no resemblance to the one it proposed and was hopelessly vague. As was later clarified, the rule only applied to the named plaintiffs in the case, including Maximum Defense and its customers, and the Firearm Policy Coalition and its members, but that injunction was temporary. Good only to an appeal could be heard. A number of other gun rights organizations got similar injunctive relief as well. The full district court, however, took another view of Mock and denied a preliminary injunction, ruling the plaintiffs were not, in fact, likely to prevail. Refusing to take that as an answer, the Firearms Policy Coalition appealed to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. A Fifth Circuit three-judge panel agreed that the plaintiffs are likely to win when the case is fully heard and send it back down to the district court. Late last night, the district court issued a full preliminary injunction. Here is just part of what Judge Reed O'Connor wrote in his order. The court finds that Mock Lewis and the other individual Firearm Policy Coalition members are threatened with irreparable injuries in the absence of an injunction. The threats to the individual Firearm Policy Coalition members are twofold, sustaining permanent and non-coverable costs from their compliance with an unlawful issued regulation and suffering impairment of their fundamental right to keep and bear lawful arms in self-defense. The court finds that such threats of irreparable harm posed by enforcement of the final rule are credible, imminent, and intertwined with one another. And we all know that this law isn't to stop criminals from getting braces. Their intent is to inflict the rule on law-abiding gun owners as part of its weaponization by the Biden administration masters. That being the case, Judge O'Connor concluded with this. According to the court orders that the government defendants, the Attorney General of the United States, the United States Department of Justice, the Director of the ATF, and each of their respective officers, agents, servants, and employees are hereby enjoined from implementing and or enforcing against the Firearm Policy Coalition Incorporated and all of its members enjoined from implementing and or enforcing against Maximum Defense Industries LLC and any downstream customers of Maximum Defense Industries LLC, including all direct consumer purchases and all intermediary distributors, dealers, retailers, and OEM purchasers of Maximum Defense products and any other respective customers, enjoined from implementing and or enforcing against William T. Mock and any of his family members, enjoined from implementing and or enforcing against Christopher Lewis and any of his family members. The preliminary injunction protects the named plaintiffs from prosecution until the case can be fully decided. This gets us closer to where we want to be, but not exactly where we want to be and where we should be and that is that a court, whether it be a district court, a court of appeals, or the Supreme Court, ruling that the ATF pistol brace rule is unconstitutional and throw it out in the garbage where it should be. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about today's video in the comment section down below. And I really do appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.